Languages, dialects, and accents. Day mate. What is a dialect? One usage refers to a variety of a language that is a characteristic of a particular group of the language's speakers. The term is applied most often to regional speech patterns, but a dialect may also be defined by other factors, such as social class. A dialect that is associated with a particular social class can be termed a socialist. A regional dialect may be termed a regialect. The other usage refers to a language socially subordinate to a regional or national standard language, often historically cognate to the standard, but not a variety of it or in any other sense derived from it. Are dialects a language? Yes and no. Technically, a dialect is not a language in itself. However, as a rule of thumb, if the disparity between the predominant language and the subordinate language is quite vast, then yes, a dialect can be said to be a language. A lot of factors, however, contribute to this: social status, political concerns, geographic placement, historical concerns. For example, both Mandarin and Cantonese speakers are considered to be one language, Chinese. They are both spoken in the same country and are both written the same. However, are not mutually intelligible. South Africa, the main language spoken by the natives is Zulu. However, depending on where they are geographically located in the villages, isolation of the languages or dialects form that are not comprehensible to others who speak Zulu. At this point, the subordinate dialect can be said to be a language. What is an accent? In linguistics. An accent is a manner of pronunciation peculiar to a particular individual, location, or nation. An accent may identify the locality in which its speakers reside. A geographical or regional accent, the socio-economic status of its speakers, their ethnicity, their caste or social class, their first language, when the language in which the accent is heard is not their native language, and so on. Linguistic factors to consider: quality of voice. Pronunciation of vowels and consonants, stress, and prosody. Although grammar, semantics, vocabulary, and other language characteristics often vary concurrently with accent, it's usually associated with dialect. Regional variation, as we just discussed, regional variation is associated with linguistic variation. Speakers of distinctive dialects will have distinctive regional accents as well. Let's use standard English as an example. Widely known around the world: England, U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, Wales, Scotland. All have their own accents. Even within their own country, this may differ. Britain. They all have their own dialects, different use of sounds, phonemes, and grammar. They all have their own lexicon, use of vocabulary known to their region, i.e., blower. Phone blagged, robbed. Http colon slash slash www dot bl dot uk slash learning slash langlif slash sounds slash index dot html. Social variation. We must recognize the presence of a sociolect. This can be determined by ethnicity, age, profession, gender, etc. For example, a dialect. Accent and lexicon of a 15-year-old Australian-born Vietnamese student may differ to that of a 15-year-old Anglo-Australian student due to their social surroundings. Trying to avoid stereotyping at all costs, but they may hang around with friends of their ethnicity, culture, religion. Use a lexicon relevant their social setting. Speak Vietnamese at home all the time. Let's break down these factors. Social variation, ethnicity. Ethnicity is an important part of identity. Because of this, people use language as a way of asserting their identity. English is less important here. However, it is not to say that ethnicities within an English-speaking country only speak their own language. If you are French, Greek, Italian, Indigenous, and all live within in Australia, for instance, the features in those groups English become a marker of ethnicity. Dimension of gender and sexual orientation. Women tend to use prestige forms, which in most language communities are varieties closest to the standard language. 
sometimes tend more towards the non-standard local variety, dialect. Sometimes play a role in norm setting and the redefining of status forms. Men, usually conform to the norms established within the community or social group. Orientation, gay, lesbian, bi and transsexual men and women also have linguistic features to identify group membership. However as this is still plagued with stereotype a true analysis is difficult. Attitudes to variation. Some dialects are described as linguistically superior to others. Non-standard varieties and dialects are often disparaged and devalued simply because they don't have the same prestige or status the standard language holds. Overt prestige, features recognized by whichever in the culturally dominant group. Covert prestige, features signaling a particular group or subgroup, yeah street cred. Attitudes to variation. Judgments are made about variation based on a number of factors. Accent. Social status and background. Culture. Geographic location. Physical appearance. Here it is judged whether a prescriptive or descriptive approach to language should be used.